Hi and welcome students. In today's Microsoft Word 2019 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enter text and import text from another Word document. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a blank Word document open right here. The first part of this tutorial will go over how to in insert text into your document, and the second part will be importing from another document. So let's get started. We've created a new document with a blank document template. Feel free to follow along with me if you'd like. So we're going to uh, put our cursor at the beginning of this new document. One tip that I could give you is to zoom in or out. You can hold control on your keyboard and then scroll down to zoom out and scroll up to zoom in. If I'm typing something, I typically like to keep my uh, document zoomed in to where the left side of the page is as far left as it can be and the right side is as far right as it can be. Another way to do this is to go to the View tab, the Zoom group, and you can do Page Width right here. There we go. All right, so we see our blinking cursor is right here, and we're going to enter the title of our new document. And whenever I'm typing, I typically like to turn on my paragraph markers. You could turn these on too if you'd like. If not, you don't have to. But I'm going to turn those on in the Home tab, Paragraph Group, and I'm going to click right here on Paragraph mar Markers, Show slash Hide the Paragraph Marks, or Other Hidden Formatting Symbols. I click that to turn it on and you'll see the paragraph markers will appear. This will help me keep track of things like when I create a new paragraph as well as spacing in my document. So I'm going to start by typing in Parks Appreciation Day, just like that. To create a new paragraph, you press Enter, and it will create the new paragraph. After we've created the new paragraph, we're ready to type in the body of our document. Now for this, we're going to type in our um, you, and you can follow along with me. Uh, we're going to type in help beautify our city by participating in the annual cleanup of log drift park, comma, space, after commas, there's only one space, swamp creek park, comma, space, and tall tree park. Remember, we capitalize things like the beginning of each of the park names. <clears throat> now, when we end a sentence, we do that with a period, and then we do one space, and then we're ready to start our next period, or our next sentence, rather. <clears throat> Keep in mind not to do two spaces. That's something that uh, we used to do on typewriters, but that's no longer the case anymore. So it's just one space after you finish your sentence. Now you're going to type in bring your own gardening tools and gloves and be ready to have fun exclamation point now we're going to create a new paragraph so you should remember from earlier in this tutorial you do that by pressing enter that creates the new paragraph now we're ready to continue typing we're going to type the park service committee keep in mind since that's the name of the committee that each of the words will be capitalized at the beginning and we're going to type there coordinating group participation in this event. If you are interested in spending time outdoors with family and friends while improving the quality of our parks, comma space, contact Nancy Anderson by email at nancy at adventure-works.com period space. Now you'll notice I put a per period and then a space and then that text turned blue. By that text turning blue, it lets you know that that's a hyperlink, which means if I were to click on it, it would start to compose an email to nancy at adventureworks.com. Keep in mind that this is just a made up email. It's not an actual email address, but um, Anytime that we type in an email address in Word, it'll automatically change it to that blue font, which will allow it to be clicked on. Now, if yours didn't have that blue font, it might be because you didn't put a space after the period, which is why I did that. All right, great. So now we're going to uh, press Enter to go down to a new line. And it 
After we create that new paragraph with our cursor in this first blank line, now I'm going to show you how to import a text file. To do this, you'll actually need a text file to work with, and I've opened one up over here called Import Text. And I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see it. On this one here, it has the name of each of the parks as well as their addresses that we were just referring to. The team leaders are listed below that and the corporate sponsors are listed at the bottom. I have this file saved to my desktop right, right now. You can see it, it's right here. Import text is what I called it. So now I'm going to insert that text onto this area here. Now you might be wondering, why don't we just copy and paste that text? Wouldn't it be easier to do? Yeah, but that involves you opening up the file and copying and pasting, when in reality, you could just tell Word, put the text within that document at the bottom of this document or wherever my blinking cursor is at. So with my blinking cursor in that spot, we're going to go to the insert tab. Now go to the text group and click the little arrow next to the object command. And this will allow you to insert an embedded object or text from another file into your document. I'll click on that arrow and then I'll click text from file. And this inserts the text from a file into your publication. If you have a text box selected, the text is added to the selected text box. Otherwise, uh, a new text box is created. Let's go here, text from file. Navigate to my desktop. You'll see here it says import text. I'll double click that. And there we go. It puts in the new text. Looks good, except you'll see because my formatting marks were turned on, I see that there's a bunch of new paragraphs created down here at the bottom. That doesn't really look good because it creates an unnecessary second page. To get rid of that extra page in Word, all you need to do is have your blinking cursor down where that new paragraph is at and press backspace until the page is gone. Now I know I won't need these extra paragraphs here, so I'll just remove those as well. And that looks better. To see what the document looks like without the formatting marks, you could turn them off. I go to the Home tab, Paragraph Group, Formatting Marks, Show Slash Hide, turn those off, and you'll see that it put our um, text right below the cursor that we were on. And so that is how you enter text into a Word document, as well as import text to a Word document. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment box below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you'd like to learn more about Microsoft Word 2019, please check out the playlist on my YouTube channel pay playlist page. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.